Estimation of Hardness from Unknown Solution Part 1 Determination of Water Hardness In this experiment, the hardness of an unknown water sample will be determined. The calcium in the water will be measured by performing a titration with EDTA. Ediochrome black T will be used as an indicator. Standardization of EDTA will be performed first and then determination of calcium concentration after standardizing the EDTA. Complexometric titrations are titrations that can be used to discover the hardness of water or to discover metal ions in a solution known as EDTA is commonly used in complexometric titrations. This is because it makes six bonds with metal ions to form one to one complex. In this experiment, EDTA will be first made and then standardized. This will be done by preparing a calcium chloride solution in the reaction with the EDTA calcium carbonate is converted to calcium chloride. To begin the experiment, prepare 0.01 molar sodium EDTA. Wait out and do the steps as shown in this image. Later, you will get an equation that when you will prepare calcium chloride solution, you have to use calcium carbonate and hydrochloric acid. Prepare an ammonia ammonium chloride buffer. This buffer is used for maintaining the pH which is required to make this reaction possible. The given steps have been demonstrated in the above image. Students can use it. Determine the unknown calcium carbonate concentration. It's easy. Just you need to use all the data and put it in the correct formula. Given is an example of some of the data produced in this experiment. While this is an example, students can use their own. We will take two times. First time we will use the data of standardization. Second time we will have to estimate the chloride concentration, the calcium concentration and the given calculations are shown in the figure. And the results are as follows. This is an example. Students can use their own taking this idea. Estimation of chloride ions by BTEC students from Debrade Andaman Cuba Islands first year 2020 batch. First we have to take a cylindrical measuring flask. Now we will put 20 ml of unknown hard water sample in the Erlenmeyer flask. Now putting the ammonium ammonia buffer to maintain the pH in which EDTA will work. The EDTA is already in that burette. You can see that. Now putting EBT, adiochrome black T in the Erlenmeyer flask where we have the unknown water sample. It has turned the color to red wine. Please note that. Now we will keep it under the burette. The burette is filled with EDTA. Now we will gradually stir. Stir the Erlenmeyer flask in which the unknown sample of hard water is kept. We will wait till it turns blue in color. And finally we have got it. It is blue. So you have seen the given screenshot. You can see it. There is a lot that will explain in detail. Taking all the accurate data, you can easily find out the hard water estimation.